Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Linux for Absolutely Beginners. My name is Tia from Devo Busy Learning and today we'll be going through a uname, hostname, import and also the arc command in Linux, right? Now, what is like all this uname, mproc, arc command in Linux? Let us start with a uname. A uname is a command that we, that we use to kind of check um, the kernel in linux right like let's say somebody want you to check the kernel version what can you use you can go ahead and use the u name the and the u names here have a couple of options like dash a dash r and also dash m that we'll see what are those options through the command line and also let's say somebody wants to know the host name of the server that you are using you can go ahead and use the command host name and another command here is just arc let's say somebody wants to know if uh, your operating system is uh, 32 or a 64-bit operating system how can you check that and also the number of cpu that you have on your operating system you can go ahead and use the command um, um, this command here which is like 64-bit right and also uh, the, the good command that I kind of use also to check the architecture here, it is called the get conf long big, right? And with this command here, it is going to tell you if your operating system, it is like 64 bit or 32 bit. Let me go ahead here and kind of log in into one of our Linux server. Before you follow up, you should have a Linux server already set up and you ha and have access to right? And if you don't have that, you can go ahead and launch one in AWS, or you can use a, like a virtual box if you know how to manage that. And you can just launch a Linux box in there and you'll be ready to go. Now, Alice, I have a couple of stuff here. Let us start with the command get long. And I can go ahead and type, I can go ahead here and just say get, and I say long, long like this, and tap, tap, tap. With this one, Linux, like all the commanders that we get, as you guys can see, I have get conf, and I also have a uh, couple of stuff here. But this is the weird stuff here with this command here called uh, the get long beef. I don't even know how to pronounce that so long, right? This command usually, I've done really see this command here when I'm checking if you copy it normally. When you type, when you want to, if you don't know the real meaning of the command, what you can do is that you can tap the beginning of that command and it's going to show up. As you guys can see, it didn't show up because it is just, just one single command, but it is two. The first command here, it is get conf. And then when I try to look for all commanders that would get conf, that was there, we just get, I get get conf. Now, let us also see if we have any commanders that with with long bit and you guys can see, I can see this one, right? I mean, be very careful thinking that you can just search this one in Unix, in, in Linux using tap tap. I mean, by tapping the get and you say tap tap to see all the command that basically start with get, but the long bit will not show up. And this is just one command that you can use here to kind of check if your operating system, it is 64 bit or 32 bit right now indeed it is 64 bit or you can just go ahead and type the arc command as you guys can see here with 84 underscore 64 this one here mean your operating system also it is 64 and another command here is nprod let's say somebody asks me what are the number of cpu you can tap 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 here the only thing that start with np it is nprod if i just want to see n it's going to list a lot of command that will see like NS lookup and so on. And which one am I interested? It just end prod. I mean, I can tap P again, tap and hit enter. As you can see, this little server that I'm working on basically have two CPU. Now, how can we check the kernel version? If you say U name and hit enter, it is going to give me only the platform that I'm working with, which is what? Linux, right? And how can you even check the distribution? That is where you can use the cat slash etc and you say worker. If you use the worker here, you say release and hit enter. You will see that right now I'm using like Ubuntu uh, 22.04, right? Ubuntu 22.04. This is uh, the distribution Ubuntu and this is basically the version. Now, 
let me have a u name again that's what i'm going to see and how can i modify the behavior of this command i can use the u name dash a here to kind of see more information about the kernel i mean when it was created the time the architecture and so on and if you just want to see if you just say u name dash r as you can see here u name dash r basically gave me only the kernel version and the u name dash a is going to give me the kernel version with more information and i believe the last one was u name dash m u name dash m as you can see it's just going to print the architecture which is like this the same thing to when you type this r command or the same thing that you can check using the uh, get conf long bit, right? Be very careful sometimes when uh, uh, some folks are going through Linux like to ask this question a lot. How did you check the kernel version in Linux? The command to do that is just a U name command. That's it, guys. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment below. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. Also, please don't forget to follow us on social media, such as Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Thank you. Bye-bye.